Deepwater ICCP systems are a retrofittable solution to existing failed systems on offshore wind turbines. Topside equipment, comprising a power supply, junction box and cable hang-off hatch, are transferred from the vessel onto the external platform of the turbine. Cable stabilization mattresses are positioned on the seabed at the cable touchdown point using a custom ROV-operated deployment frame. A new cable hang-off hatch is installed on the gas-tight floor of the turbine. A messenger wire is lowered through the turbine to the seabed. An ROV retrieves the messenger wire from the turbine diffuser plate to the vessel where it is attached through the subsea cable clamp. The subsea cable clamp is lowered to the base of the turbine and secured to the diffuser plate by an ROV. The messenger wire is retrieved to the vessel where it is connected to the subsea cable. Multiple subsea cables can be spooled onto a single deployment reel. The subsea cable is overboarded and unspooled as it is pulled through the subsea cable clamp. The other end of the cable is terminated to the Retro Boy remote anode sled on the deck of the vessel using a dry matable connector whilst the cable protection system is installed. The Retro Boy remote anode sled is lowered into position on the seabed while the remaining subsea cable and cable protection system is pulled through the subsea cable clamp. The subsea cable centralizer is secured within the J-tube of the cable protection clamp. Additional cable stabilization mattresses are deployed around the retro buoy and along the length of the subsea cable, all the way back to the touchdown point. The subsea cable is suspended from the cable hang-off hatch and terminated within a new anode junction box above the gas-tight floor of the turbine. The Retro Boy anode modules are released by ROV. A new modular power supply unit is installed on the turbine and energized, providing cathodic protection current to the Retro Boy anode sled. Cathodic protection is restored to the offshore wind turbine.